Hello everyone, this is Ultra Lavos, and first off, let's, uh, I'd like to apologize for the fact that the audio being recorded here is totally post-recording uh, of this video, because after recording it, I realized that, oh, my sound was off, and I didn't want to go through and re-record it all, especially with this being, you know, blind. But... Let's, uh, I've never done this before, so this is my first uh, recording audio after I'm playing. I, I prefer it totally live, so. But anyways, let's uh, jump through here. There's that damn turtle. I like the uh, pirate sh uh, hats or bandanas that they're wearing and the eye patches on the Goombas. I just got some random Mario music playing in the background. I, I liked the music on the stage, though. I may have to go back in here later on a video just so you can hear the music on this stage, because it was pretty cool. But yeah, this is the ship. There's two exits here. And those weird statues shooting fire. I'm not sure what they're supposed to be. Like, some dodo bird or something. There's a pipe. Let's, uh... Get this dragon coin though. I'm having trouble jumping. Oh, you know, look! Damn it, Mario! Just do something. There you go. Alright, let's see what's in this pipe. Oh, well, looks like a reset pipe. So there's some sort of puzzle, maybe? And them damn pencil spikes. Those things. Oh, watch out. There we go. So what's in here? A P-switch. Okay, so... Looks like we have to use it to get out of here. So let's, uh... Get... Damn it. Alright. Shit. Yeah, there was coins there that I should have got beforehand. And I'm just realizing that now as I die. So that's what the reset pipe is for. And look... I finally made it. I wasn't quick enough to get the seven coin. And that took me here. Alright, let's see what's, uh, anything cool in here. Maybe some mushrooms? Or... Awesome. Alright, let's get out of this damn pirate ship. Two exits, though, so... I'm guessing this might be the secret one, and if I didn't go down that pipe, uh, maybe that would have led me to the regular exit. Oh, let's bounce on some turtles. Ah! And if I was big, I could have gotten that, but unfortunately I'm not. But then I missed that other coin anyways, so... Oh, look! It's the treasure. It's the golden plate. Or some giant golden coin without an insignia or something. I'm not sure, but it's shiny and gold, so we better grab it, because we are on a treasure hunt. So yeah, that was like the ghost ship. This was a fun level. It wasn't too frustrating, really. Now let's try to find the... Uh, let's see, that's the normal exit, it looks like, so we'll have to go back and find the secret exit. Because it's got that key up there, and it's a red dot. Alright, there's that pipe. Let's see what happens if we head over this way. And, really, just a mushroom. I notice that block looks funny right there. I'm like, uh, hey, wait a minute. Let's try something. Can we swim under this, maybe? Or, nope, it just takes us uh, to a different area. With a key. And what's over here? Oh, much. Oh, one up. Huh? Let's throw the key in there to try to get it. And then get the fucking key stuck. Yeah, I just did that. And now, there's no way to die. I have no time limit. Am I going to have to just reset the game? Can I go back down the pipe? Luckily, uh, over to the left, I'm about to show what I did. But uh, up top, where you can duck and jump over here, I duck and jumped up there and it uh, killed me 
so <laughs> that was pretty good timing on that music kind of yeah so luckily I was able to kill myself there and then uh, that opens the waterfall and back here we got the spider grotto and I'm, I'm not sure if that's meant to be that way that you can walk through that rock to this pipe take us to a bonus world or yeah the star will take us to the star world uh, special level 2 which I'll get to eventually now we're gonna head back and try out the next level I know at some point uh, oh yeah it's coming up but I decided to uh, go back to the ghost house and get the second exit in there which is pretty much easy to do once you've solved the puzzle in order to trigger the continue and save so I wouldn't have to beat the ghost ship and get both exits again so I'm probably going to be doing that in places where there's hard levels uh, I don't want to replay because last video replaying that damn jungle world oh, I got really good at it though yeah this level is uh, the spooky something or other and this man this was this was something here Eeries and I like the little eyeball guys I'm not sure why but it makes me think of uh, Zelda 2 I don't even know why it's been a long time since I've played that but I know there's flying eyes I don't think there's walking eyes but is there walking eyes in Mega Man maybe? I don't know And here we go with some auto scroll. We got this P switch that, if you see a P switch lying around and the screen starts to auto scroll, it's usually a uh, good sign that you're gonna have to take that P switch somewhere. And yeah, this part, I hit the P switch, which was a bad idea, and died. And then, well, just wanted to see what was past there. And that's the pipe we're going to come up once we get the P switch. But yeah, this part here was a pretty good challenge uh, getting used to. So we got some eyeballs and get past those eeries. Which I realized later you can just duck and you're fine, but yeah, then things like that happen. So let's try to... that's not gonna work. Okay, I'm dead again. And I finally made it, but uh, I didn't have the... I hit the P-switch on accident. So I just wanted to see, you know, maybe it was gonna be one of those moments where at the very end there's another P-switch and it was like, really, you tried doing that for nothing, ha. Huh? But no, you actually need to carry that P-switch. So let's uh, go for it again. Yeah, am I going to do it this time? Maybe. Maybe not. Yeah, that seems to be a little better. Let's try that. But we got to be faster because now I'm stuck. And. Okay, this time we actually grabbed the P-switch. Okay, that son of a bitch hit us, but we're good. We're not dead. Alright, let's just uh, jump over into the Eerie. Yeah, it's a little frustrated. And finally, finally made it. Alright, let's, uh, whoa, stupid turtle with its skull. Okay. Let's just take the skull so we can kill any dangers once this uh, P-switch runs out. Yeah, let's uh, make our way over here. We should be close to the end, I hope. There's a door, a closed door. We can keep going. No, uh, let's... Yeah, the shell came back and killed me. I was not very happy at that point. So let's see what's in here. You know, I was sitting there contemplating... Should I go in this door, see what's over here, as I got slaughtered by the skull that I had tossed? And this is all that was in there, so 
that decision making process it should have just been screw the door let's keep going and yeah it doesn't look like there's anything else in here and I like the little upside down skeletons doing some weird things with their legs upside down in a pipe alright let's try not to die if we were big we could get that but yeah not really that concerned about it right now my major concern is not dying so I don't have to go through this again I'd like to make it to the next level uh oh ah that was so close and then I'm um, getting there getting there come on 12 stars awesome so yeah, once again, I apologize for not having the live recording, but at least you have the live uh, first time blind video footage. So it is what it is. Next time, uh, make sure my damn mic is on. This is Ultra Lavos playing Mario's Treasure Hunt. See you all next time with live commentary.